Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is 2022 and it's a new year, new videos, new content. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. As you can see by the title, today's video is going to be all about my braces. As you guys know, I uploaded a video once I got my braces put on about a year ago called Braces 101. I will put that video up here for you guys so you can have a look at it, check it out. I have a lot of good tips in there. I just had my braces on. It was fresh. I was a newbie when it came to braces. You know, it was exciting. Things were exciting. It has been a journey. It has been a journey. I keep looking in there. I need to remember to look here. Anyways, it's been a journey with braces for sure to say the least. So this video is just basically my braces update, what's been going on. To sum it all up guys, a lot. A lot has been going on and I'm gonna break it down for you so that if you guys are thinking about getting braces in the near future, you will definitely know what to expect. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Pretty much this whole year of having braces has been themed around closing my upper and lower gap. If you guys remember, I will insert pictures, I had teeth extracted in order for the look that I wanted to be accomplished. So I had to pull out my top canine teeth and my bottom teeth in order for my teeth to get pushed back because I didn't like my side profile. So this past year has been my gaps closing and they're pretty much almost closed. Like we're so close. We're so close. This past year I just feel like my teeth have always been moving constantly. After every tightening I get my tightenings done at least once a month my whole jaw has been constantly changing and moving like my whole structure is just everything here is, there's just a lot going on down here in order to close my gaps i had rubber bands and a power chain so with the rubber band, I had to wear them constantly for the past, I would say, the past nine months. I've had to wear my rubber bands constantly. I don't even take them off when I eat. I'll just change them after I eat and put new ones right back in. I'm serious about closing my gap. The last two months though, I did slip up, not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure my gaps would have been closed by now if I was consistent these last two months with my elastics, but I don't know. I just got lazy, which is terrible never never do this when it comes to braces guys always wear your elastics the more you wear your elastics the faster these braces will come off like i was saying elastics so some people most people people have elastics that connect to their top teeth and their bottom teeth so it's kind of like this for me, my elastics went side to side. So side to side instead of up and down. But as you can see, they're pretty much closed now compared to where we started. I literally was like, it's literally pulling my teeth back, the elastics. So it's the braces that are already tight and then elastics, which are just super tight on. So there's just so much pressure. You got a headache all right here, it starts hurting hurting because my teeth my whole jaw is literally getting pulled back like it's crazy it was it's been a crazy experience i was going to say it was a crazy experience but i'm still going through it i hope what i'm saying makes sense i'm trying to explain it as best as i possibly can my braces my elastics and then i also at one point had power chains on if you guys don't know what power chains are i'll insert a picture right now of braces versus power chain but pretty much a power chain is a heavy duty a heavy duty braces wire like it's just super thick it weaves in and out of your brackets it's literally a rubber band times a hundred once a power chain is on it's literally called a power chain because it's very powerful but i had that on also at one point uh, a lot of points actually and like as soon as i'm putting it on you can just feel like everything tightening up and that's before they put your wire back in and and the elastics on. It's just a lot of pressure, guys. If that's the best way I can explain braces, it's a lot of pressure. I had elastics and power chains in order to close up these gaps. So I've been dealing with that for this whole year. We're in a new year and I'm still dealing with it. As you can see though, 
we're pretty much there guys like it's almost there there was a lot of times where one tooth would just be isolated because my teeth are all getting pulled sometimes one tooth would end up isolated from the rest and let me tell you Ooh, child, I can feel it. It just felt so fragile and so ready to pop off, to be honest. You know when you're a kid and you had a loose tooth and you just like wiggle it and like try and get it loose and it would come out? That's literally how this feels, guys. I'm not even over-exaggerating. But like I could just go like this and pull that tooth out. At nighttime, I'd wake up and my cheek would be caught on my bracket or the wire would be poking out from the back because literally as you sleep, I feel like that's when the most is going on. I don't know why, but for me personally, when I'm sleeping, I feel like that's when my mouth is changing and doing the most. Like I'll wake up in the middle of the night and my jaw would just be like clenched because so much is going on. To sum that up, I would say elastics aren't that high maintenance. You just put them on, take them off, them on, take them off. As long as you have them on more times than you do off, you're fine. Power chains, on the other hand, super high maintenance because they're so compact and tight in your braces compared to elastic. So much food would get stuck in there that I wouldn't be able to just like brush out or pick out easily like I usually would. That's the only only thing that I don't like about power chains is obviously it hurts more and they're just very high maintenance when it comes to cleaning. I'm trying to think of what else I can update you guys on. I've had no broken brackets for this whole year of having braces. At first, I was super cautious with what I was eating. I was so scared because my orthodontist said that if I break a bracket, I have these braces on for a whole extra month. Not me. No, no, no. I'm not having these braces on for an extra month. I don't know when they're coming off. Supposed to be two years in total, but we'll see. Just so careful with what I was eating, not eating anything hard. Now I'm like eating chips, eating this and that, eating everything hard except for like peanuts and nuts and stuff. We'll get into that in another video of foods that you can and cannot eat with braces. I haven't broken a bracket. I've been super careful not to. I don't want to extend my time that I have to wear these, but I'm I'm gonna be honest I'm not as careful as I should be most times like I'm kind of surprised I haven't broken a bracket yet but I'm thankful I'm happy because I'm not trying to deal with that that's been my experience pretty much this past year with braces as you can see we are progressing it's very exciting I can't wait until I'm completely done with this journey and my braces are completely off it's been a crazy painful experience but I'm loving it I'm loving the results every time I look in the mirror I'm like whoa or even when I look at old pictures of myself I'm like whoa the difference is insane the past couple of months I've been taking pictures of the progress I've skipped a few months because for a while it didn't really look like anything was going on like yeah my gaps were closing but other than that nothing was really going on my teeth just looked straight I'll insert that here now <laughs> I'm going to end this video here now. Thank you so much for watching my one year braces update. I hope this helped you in any way possible and that my experience will be able to help you navigate your braces journey. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!